Hello, my name is David McHenry. I am the Engineering and Technical Manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to share with you the RegoFix and WTO QuickFlex Power Grip system. RegoFix and WTO have partnered to create a Power Grip QuickFlex system in QuickFlex 25, 32, and 40 series. They are available with our PG15 and PG25 outputs, depending on which QuickFlex series you have. So, why have we partnered with WTO to do this? Well, the biggest reason is accuracy. The Power Grip system has a 3 micron runout. Take that 3 micron runout and put it into your WTO live heads, only provides the best accuracy, rigidity, and dampening coefficient that you can get in a system. So what's it look like when we go through and do an assembly or put it into a WTO head? Well, let's move over to the workbench and take a look. So here we are at the WTO trade show display unit and I want to thank WTO for letting us use this for this video and for future videos. And in this assembly we have a static assembly we'll talk about in a few moments. We have a variety of axial heads, and we have the radial right angle head available as well, all with QuickFlex 25 adapters to allow us to demonstrate this. And in this one axial head, we have an ER collet already set up with a 10 millimeter pin. And the question would be is why or what advantage do I have to change from this ER output to the QuickFlex power group. So what is my advantage? And the easiest thing to start with is going to be the accuracy of the system. So with the ER system, we have two different precisions of collets. We have a standard precision collet of 4 tenths TIR, and we have an ultra precision of 2 tenths TIR. Well, the power group is already half of that at 1 tenth maximum. So you are already going to get a better repeatability out of that tool by having more uh, accuracy and less TIR involved. I'm also going to get the fact that I can preset my quick flex adapters offline. So when this tool breaks or wears out, it's much, much easier just to change a pre-assembled adapter right into your WTO head and not have to worry about setting my gauge length in that ER collet when I'm putting it into the axial head or my radial or boring bar heads. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So I'm going to take that same 10 millimeter pin and I'm going to put it into the Power Grip PG15 collet. I'm going to take that collet and I'm going to put it into the adapter. And then I'm going to move over to the Power Grip machine and press that in and we'll show you what that looks like. When you put the tool holder into the, the machine, the insert sits above the collet. So as the insert is pressed down on top of the collet, it will press the collet into the tool holder the rest of the way. Now that the machine has finished its cycle, you can see that the collet is pressed fully into the tool holder. Okay, so we are back over here at our uh, trade show unit to take a look at it. We have our PG15 10 millimeter pressed in. So let's look at putting this same unit into the axial head, into the radial head, and then what it looks like to put it into the boring bar system. So first off, let's start off with the axial head. And it threads in just like all of your other systems. It threads right in by hand. You still have to use your WTO lock uh, wrench on this to lock the position of the head. So bring that around, engage it, grab the appropriate tool to tighten it and tighten it as needed. So very simple to use on that. And you can see that if this tool was to be worn out or break, all I have to change is the adapter. So my quick change adapter on this allows me to maintain my TIR, maintain without having to remove the head and change just the quick flex adapter that you already are familiar with. And it works the exact same way when we go to the radial head. Just remove the quick flex ER nut and simply assemble the quick flex adapter into that unit. 
straightforward and easy to do, not that complicated. So when we talk about the boring bar, uh, we've only been working with live heads right now, but WTO also offers boring bars and the boring bar adapters allow us to use the quick flex in that as well. So this is a standard ER25 quick flex straight shank holder, allows me to remove the nut and just like the other systems, I can thread in the quick flex adapter and then put that into my boring bar holder. Kind of hard to line up from the back side, but put that right in and now I'm ready to go with that as well. So the PG quick flex system allows you to be allows it to be used in the boring bar straight shank holders, any of the quick flex axial or radial heads, and it makes it easy to preset and adjust offline while giving you optimum TIR of one tenth or better. Let's spend a few moments and talk about the collets that are used in the quick flex system. So I went ahead and we've already pulled the, two, the collet out so you didn't miss a step and, and I didn't pull magic out on you. So the PG quick flex tooling system uses what are called PG short tail collets. Now these collets are different than the standard off the shelf collets. And by being different, I mean they are actually shorter. So I have my short tail collet here in my left hand and a standard here in the right. And you can see if I put them next to each other, there is about a 10 millimeter difference in length. So I cannot use a standard PG-15 collet in the quick flex system. It's just too long and it won't even assemble. I drop it in and it actually bottoms out on the bottom of the collet cavity. The short tail version is made to hold almost the exact same amount of tool shank as the standard, but it's made in a much shorter profile and shorter length. And these are gonna be used for the quick change systems. These are available in PG-25 and 15 short tail collets in metric and inch sizes. So a point to think about when you are talking to customers or working with them on the quick flex system is going to be they can't use their existing PG-25 or 15 collets in the quick flex. They have to switch over to the short tail to make them work properly. I definitely want to say thank you to WTO for letting us use this live head for the video we just filmed today. And also let you know that if you have any questions at all, please contact Regofix or WTO on the QuickFlex system.